Grace and peace be unto you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today is Sunday, April 5th, the beginning of Holy Week, and it is Palm Passion Sunday. And I have our reading and devotion for today, but just prior to that, I want to read a little bit about Holy Week and say a prayer for placing palms in a home. Now, you can use anything aside from palms. If you don't have palms, you can use any branch, any local branch around and hang it from your door and you can place it similar to that. Uh, and I have other pictures. If you ta take pictures of your front door, please send them to me and I'll put them all in a little picture collage and uh, put them on Facebook for everybody to see. Um, but I wanna share about Holy Week first. On this Sunday of Passion, Christians enter into Holy Week. This day opens before the Christian community, the final period of preparation before the celebration of the three days of the Lord's Passion, Death, and Resurrection. In many churches, palm branches will be given to worshipers for a procession into the worship space. Obviously, this year, uh, because of things happening with COVID, that's not happening. So we, we look to God and uh, for continued direction and we can grab palms or any branches that we have and do this locally in our own homes. Following this ancient custom, many Christians bring the palms into their home and place them in their household in the prayer center or on their walls or on their doors or behind a cross or a sacred image. At sunset on Maundy Thursday, Lent comes to an end as the church begins the celebration of the events through which Christ has become the life and the resurrection for all who believe. Now we'll have a prayer for placing palms in the home. We use this when we put palms such as on our door, such, such like this, or some other ones I've seen already from pictures of other people placing uh, sticks and branches on their doors. Let us pray. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. May we who place these palms or branches receive Christ into our midst with the joy that marked the entrance to Jerusalem. May we hold no betrayal in our hearts, but peacefully welcome Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So our reading today comes from Matthew 26. Actually, Matthew 27, verses 50 through 54. Then Jesus cried again with a loud voice and breathed his last. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks were split. The tombs also were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. After his resurrection, they came out of the tombs and entered the holy city and appeared to many. Now when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place. They were terrified and said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. Let us pray. Sovereign God, you have established your rule in the human heart through the servanthood of Jesus Christ. By your Spirit, keep us in the joyful procession of those who with their tongues confess Jesus as Lord and with their lives praise him as Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Take some time this Holy Week to spend continually in prayer with, with your families at home. Be safe. Make sure you are wearing masks when you go out and gloves. Uh, follow those protocols because we want to see you again in our worship space. And we pray for you for your safety and your wellness. Blessings to all of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.